Gabriella, what? What is your favorite color? It's a pink. It's pink? You love pink and yellow. Pink. What do you like more, yellow or pink? You like pink? Yes. <laughs> what if one of daddy's cars was pink? We might do something just for you. Mwah. And I'm particularly excited about this because this car has been somewhat of a, of a journey for me. I got it last September and it was pretty much bone stock with an SR20 swap, stock body-ish with tons of Bondo as we found in one of the last videos. It had a little crappy half cage in it, which we had to cut out and do a full cage, but we've done a wider body, crazy spec wheels, FDF angle, and this is going to be my competition car for 2023. And I'm super stoked on it. If you guys remember, if I got any OGs watching right now, my SC300 back a while ago was pink. And you know, people didn't really like it. But now, pink is cool. I missed that color, I love that color, and uh, it's my daughter's favorite color. I got three, three women in my household now, so if you don't like pink, you can kiss my hairy butt, I don't care. We are gonna be wrapping the car today. I have a custom livery design. It's gonna look super, super cool. For one, I'm gonna be competing this year, so I need to stand out. Two, I'm gonna be up in New Jersey for Adam's LZ Fest. You know, I want you guys to see me. I need to stick out. So we got a delivery, but first we have the base wrap. I'm gonna, I want you, I just, I can't wait to join the One Color Club again. We're gonna head off to Get Dipped Services today. These are my boys, the OGs that have been helping me since I moved back to Dallas. And they're gonna be wrapping, liquid wrapping the 240SX. They got a new location. I have not been here yet, so I don't know where to unload my car. There is so much more room here than the last place. Hello. Yo, dude. Hell yeah. What's up, man? These are the boys? I just did something, did I? Nah, nah, okay. It does that. This is sick, dude. Wow. <laughs> man, this is dope because you guys have been in that little little place for such a long time and there's room to unload my cars now which is great <laughs> good deal what's up dude man look at all this room how has it been over here it's been good man i really like i mean we finally got a paint booth that's a that's huge yeah and like now we have a lot more space back here so like we're not really limited to how many cars we can take good deal dude yeah so it looks like you guys are busy at the moment were well, you guys ready for the uh for the return of the pink gotta go look at it nice thing is it's super easy. To, it's super easy to come off. So I'm, well, I'm also I'm also considerably better now. First off, the, the this happened literally like day one of uh, of the wrap because I didn't know how low the car was. It's yeah. also raised more now because of the, all the suspension work oh. I have done. I don't hit the trailer and I don't really go off track anymore unless I'm going crazy, crazy. Are you so with these wheels on there. Yeah. They're nice wheels. <laughs> Bro, you know, I gotta, you know, gotta, gotta show off for the boys. Yeah. Gotta, gotta make it look cool. Got the wide body on. Um, I had to because the steering. front suspension, the steering angle kit pushes it out 50 yeah. millimeters. Yeah. And so I had to get the overs. And then I was like, if I'm gonna have a wide front, might as well go wide rear. So I made some crazy spec rear wheels. So my daughter's favorite color is pink. Go figure. Literally same, same color as the SC yeah. back in the day. I already have it. Bringing it back, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. I love that color. I, dude. Me too. I think it's gonna look rad with the livery and everything. It's this is why I love Get Dip, dude. This is amazing. Look, oh, okay, I'm spilling it everywhere, but look at this. Ah, no glue, no nothing. It literally doesn't even look like there was any wrap on it at any point ever. And look, it just comes off so easy. It comes off so easy. Uh -oh. <laughs> to go down. All right guys, let's say bye-bye to the red. Bye red. <laughs> bye, red. <laughs> it's bring your daughter to work today, day. Bring your daughter to work day. Are you ready to see daddy's pink car? What's your favorite color? Pink. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of, new shirt alert. <laughs> Mama. Go check it out. All right, so we will see here in a second how this is gonna go. I think G Gabriella is asleep in the car and that is not what the plan was, but hey, that is called being a parent. I am so excited to see this thing all one color again. 
hope Gabriella has a good reaction, but you know what? Maybe it's just gonna be crying in tears because sometimes that's what parenting is. Are you ready to go see cars? Cars? Daddy got a special we car just for you. Mouth. Got some fish crackers, some goldfish on our mouth here. Oh, oh my oh. goodness, Gabriella, look at the car. Dude, it looks, looks so good. Gabby, look! It's a pink car! See, I'm a little overwhelmed in here. <laughs> oh, sick, you got the whole kit on and everything. Boy! I did this one just for you. That's Daddy's car. What color is it? What color is that? Pink. Oh, wow. That's yeah. pink. <laughs> vroom, 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 vroom. Is it, are you happy? Do you want to drive it? Yeah. You yes. Do, you want to get in the car? Oh my goodness. Dude, it looks so good. <laughs> I miss, this is the same color that the SC was, right? I loved the way that like the pearl was on the, what's the color called? It's red and then pink, so it's a red base. Yes. And it's right called base. Pink Poison, dude. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look, you want the steering wheel? Look, ready? <gasps> Go like this. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's no horn in this one. I think she's still waking up, guys. Is this so cool? Yes. Bears. Yeah, I don't know what you just said. I see bears. You see wh what? Right there. Right there, a wheel? See? Oh, the wheel? Vroom, 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 vroom. What do you see? I see pink. You see you pink? You see pink? You love pink, huh? Yeah, I figured it was fitting. Uh, team, uh, team girl dad at this point. Two girl, three girls in the household. Just me and Clutch holding it down for the boys, team boys. Do you like it? Like you like a pink? You like a pink? Yay! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Are they cars? Come here, you wanna look at it? Look at the pink! <gasps> it matches your shirt. It's just like your shirt. What color is daddy's shirt? Pink. Yes. You see pink? Is it your favorite color? <laughs> I would love this. Oh yeah, there's where's a lot the, of colors. Where's the blue one? <laughs> right there. Right there? Okay, where is the orange? Can you see orange? What color is this? What color is that? <laughs> where is red? Yay! Yeah. High five. Yeah. High five, Gabs. Where's the pink car? Right there. That's daddy's car. He's gonna come home with us. That's gonna go home. Yeah, that's daddy's car. Oh, you're so cute. So yeah, this is, uh, I, I'm so excited, guys. Um, this car hasn't been one color since last season. I didn't really make many videos of me driving the car with the red, but like, obviously, with me learning how to drive, I was going off track a ton and I uh, kind of like mangled up my front bumper. So they, they peeled off the old one, but the bumper's kind of mangled. So I might, I might end up just doing a fiberglass kit, but man, this thing looks so freaking good, dude. Oh, you bye bye car. Is it time to go night night? <laughs> so, okay. Night night pink. <laughs> Yay, we love pink. Yay. Yeah, go home. Daddy's gotta go take this to the shop and we gotta go make it faster. Zoom zoom. Mwah. Mwah. All right, let's see it in the sun. This thing when it was, I like this because it's like, dude, it's like, it's pink, but it's also red. Every different bit of lighting that you get, you get sort of a different effect. So it's just amazing. I love it. That FDF angle though, this is so good, dude. It's cool because when this color's in the shade, you see a little bit more of the red. And then when it's in the sun, you tend to see a little bit more of the pink. I loved this color so much when it was on my SC, but I don't know, I don't know. Maybe the SC wasn't the right car for it, but it sure as hell was the right color. You can see like the, this color helps pop all the body lines with the body, dude, it's, it just looks so good with the body kit. Like you can just, It's gonna look so crazy sliding around. That's gonna be so good, dude. You guys kill it per usual. It was all Roy's brand. Oh, it was all you, dude? Yes. Woo! 
If you guys are around the DFW area, or even if you're not, make sure you guys hit up Get Dip Services if you guys need a wrap. My personal favorite way to wrap a car, it's a great way to actually preserve the paint under your car as well. They have so many different colors. They can mix you OEM colors. They can make you custom colors, you name it. Um, they got you. The liquid wrap is, it's king. Now it's time to get it loaded up and go to Trackstar. Even better news, boys. Guess what? We didn't bring nothing getting on the trailer. Yeah, dang. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ugh. Let's go, baby. Check the front bumper. I ruined it day one last time, so we're not doing that this time. All right, we are back home and I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news is the car is dropped off with Ethan and it is going to be turbo swapped and hopefully ready for the weekend. And the car looks amazing. Bad news is apparently Victoria put my 360 camera on my cowl of the car and I didn't know this and it flew off on the way home. And because of how much I'm spending on motorsports at the moment, I do not have the budget for another one of those. So there'll be no 360, <laughs> there'll be no 360 camera footage for a while, boys. Unless somebody at Insta360 or somebody wants to send another one out because I will use it and love it. I'll cherish it and give it hugs and kisses. Make sure you guys go to 53supply.com and pick up your new 240SX shirt. Um, and I'll also, I will see you guys out there on Saturday at Fuel Fest. I will be there. I have a, a driver's ticket. I'm really crossing my fingers at everything. I'm overnighting parts to make sure everything is good. So I'll see you guys. We'll be doing ride-alongs there as well. Um, for my daily advice for you guys today, I'm gonna be sitting on my 240, or my, hello, my Civic. Same thing, whatever. They're both junk boxes. Um, a lot of people ask me about marriage and success in life. Marriage, having a family, what it's like, you know, the sort of the sacrifices you have to make, that sort of deal. And you know, it's like, how, how can you do all of this stuff and still maintain a marriage and have kids and all that kind of stuff, yada, yada. And you know, I wanna give you guys a couple things to ponder on and to consider today. A list of things that you cannot do or you cannot be, or you have to make sure you master if you want a successful relationship, um, whether it's with your kids, your family, whatever, for one, you have to be selfless. You've got to get rid of all your selfishness. For some people that means um, spending as much money and time and whatever until you're 30 years old and finally want to settle down. But uh, you can't be selfish and you have to be patient. Selflessness and patience is the first one. That's the first key to having any relationship of any kind. Two, you can't love something more than someone. A car should never be more important than your wife, your spouse. Your job should never be more important than your kids. Uh, your own muscles, the way you look in the mirror. I'm not talking about being healthy, but like that, in that sense, you looking at yourself in the mirror, that's not more important than your family. You know what I mean? Some people dedicate way too much time to that kind of stuff. You can't love a thing more than a person. You have no chance of success if you love your car more than your girl. You have no chance of having a successful relationship if you love your shoe collection or your guns or your this or your that. The second you start loving things over people, you, you, lose, all, you lose all chances of success for a, a happy relationship. Third, and really this should have been the first thing, you can't love conditionally. You cannot have conditions to your love. If you want to have a happy marriage, you cannot love your spouse with conditions. You can't say, well, I'm gonna love her as long as she works out, or as long as she's fit, or as long as blank, blank, blank. You fill in the thing, whatever. Or I will love him as long as he, only as long as he provides. I'll love him as long as he has a job, or I'll love him as long as he looks handsome, and whatever, whatever, whatever. You, you will never, you will also have 0% chance of success in a relationship if you have conditions based on your love. The way I think about this is like, you know what? Do you really love somebody? Then think about it like this. If you really love somebody, they got in the car accident and lost their leg or their arm. Would you still love them? And the amount of people that would say, nope, I probably wouldn't love them anymore is actually scary. But if that's true, you don't love them. Your love's based on conditions. And you will have 0% chance of success in your relationship in the end. You cannot have conditions to your love. It goes for your kids, dude. It doesn't matter how they turn out what they do, how they, you know, whatever. Like you have to love unconditionally if, if you wanna have a good relationship with your family. And lastly, you have to be able to put people before yourself. This goes with the first point, the selflessness, but if the thought of dropping time with your boys at the bar scares you, then 
you have got to grow up. It's time to grow up. Like at some point, at some point, you just got to stop doing that. <laughs> like, or if you know, if you have to go out with the girls once a month or two, a couple times a month and go party, be, like that's marriage is not for you. You know what I mean? Um, you got to grow up. And that's sort of the thing. Like, if you have to think about that sort of thing, if you're like, oh man, like I don't know if I want to put her before myself or my kids before me. It's like, dude, there's so many things I can't do, but I don't like resent my family for that. It's part of the territory. It's because I love them that I'm able to like put them first. And once you do actually love somebody, you will be able to put them first easily. Um, you will be able to be more patient with them. You will be able to put them first. You'll be able to love them unconditionally. But if you want to, if you want to have a successful relationship, you want to be successful parents, you have to be able to love unconditionally and do those things that I just listed. Because if you don't, I'm sorry, it's not going to work out. <laughs> For broken families, Breaking any or most of those is the core problem uh, why a lot of these families fall apart. A lot of people ask me about family, about marriage, and so that's my two cents I'm gonna put on you today. You know, your, your freaking Varus kit or your TE-37s are not ever gonna be more important than a human. Those are literally material things that came out of the ground and will go back into the ground eventually. Humans have souls. We built different. Love them. Stop caring about cars. They're just things. <laughs> um, that's not to say that you have got to give everything up and you can't have fun. Like, obviously, you can still have fun. You can still own cool stuff. Yeah, you don't got to give up your life to create one. It's not, it's not how it is. Don't take an extreme for an extreme. But uh, yeah, wanted to help you guys out. Wanted to give you guys that advice for me today. I've got to get working on the Civic because it needs a lot of work. I'm a busy bee, okay? I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. Make sure you guys are subscribed and have notifications turned on. Hell, tell your parents, your cousins, your friends, tell them to watch Evan Shanks because he's got some cool videos. I love you guys. Make sure you guys go to 5.3. Check out the new shirt because it's bussing and it looks cool. We also have that new drop with the insanely comfortable new hoodie, really cool windbreaker, hats, jet tags, you name it. Um, check them out. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Ah!